be your MC for today. Uh, opening prayer, and this will be done by Mr. Hagan Harry John. Our most precious God, we thank you for this afternoon. We are most grateful for what you've done in our lives. Father, we thank you for this occasion. We commit this occasion into your hands. We pray that you come and take absolute control over this occasion. We need you. We cannot do anything without you. This is the main one that we ask through your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Move on to the next program. So the purpose of gathering. Um, I'd like to call Ms. Gloria Kakari to, do, to let us know why we are here today. I would like to thank our senior lecturers, our patron, our TAs, our gone executives, and incoming executives for making time from their busy schedules to grace this occasion. The main purpose of our gathering here this afternoon is to witness the handing over ceremony for the 2020-2021 executive elective. I will entreat everyone to wait patiently and enjoy the rest of the program. Thank you. Do some introduction of introduction of the chairman, and this will be done by Ms. Dokas Alpha. Yes. I'm honored to introduce the chairperson for today. He is a senior lecturer in the political economy at the Department of Sociology and Anthropology of the University of Cape Coast. He was appointed a faculty member of the Institute of Global Law and Policy. Harvard Law School in 2015, where he lectured in the area of Society of Global Corruption in a writing workshop held in Qatar. He served as a co-consultant to the International Labor Organization on projects which produced background data on employment in the agriculture and agro-processing sectors, as well as the infrastructure sector in 2017, a co-consultant for the Ministry of Energy, Ghana, on a charcoal value chain analysis. He has also served as a resource person to a number of workshops on the energy justice and sustainable livelihood in 2018. Organized by Cultural Study in the Netherlands, he is currently a co-investigator in the One, One Ocean Hub project aimed at promoting sustainable livelihood and ocean governance. And he is a married man with a child. Ladies and gentlemen, without much ado, let's welcome Dr. John Windy Ansam. I hope I have your permission to start. Yes. All right, uh, so thank you very much once again for giving me this opportunity to serve as the chairman for this uh, occasion. I know this occasion is actually long overdue. Uh, COVID has had its own way of uh, making things delay, including this one. But uh, no matter how late it has been, I'm happy, and I'm sure all of us here are happy that this occasion uh, has come. Um, of course, the delay has meant that the administration, uh, um, in terms of its activities, also got stopped. But given the fact that the handing over will take place, and now new executives will take up the mantle. All activities would, would restart it, to the benefit of the association and the department. I wouldn't want to say so much. I humbly agree to serve as the chairman. Um, under normal circumstances, I should have taken over, but uh, MC, I hand over everything to you to so continue with the activities. Thank you very much. Thank you. We will now call on Mr. Kofi Tsubo to, to, to give us a report. I'm here this afternoon to give a report as well as handing over speech as the outgoing president of the association. I will bow down towards your temple and I will praise your name for your love and faithfulness. Psalm 138, verse 2a. Mr. Chair. The patron, lectures, presentees, colleague, outgoing executives, incoming executives, fellow students, ladies and gentlemen, good day. About a year ago, my noble outgoing executives and I stood here to accept a great responsibility as president and other officers, other officers of the of other portfolios of the Sociology and Anthropology Students Association for the 2019-2020 academic year. 
this iron, with the help of my co-executives, did not take for granted and recognized it as a sign of a great edge of students for a great change. Although it seems a very short time, but Ebenezer, this is how far the Lord has brought us. Mr. Chairman, there is a saying that trust in God, but tie your camel. We trusted God to lead us through our time in office. However, we did not only trust him with our hands folded. We worked towards achieving great outcome of productivity, which was never an accident, but a result of commitment to excellence, intelligent planning, and focused efforts. The success story began when the association, association's bank account has been dormant and deactivated in the previous years was reactivated. Per the school's administration, all associations on campus are to renew their existence on campus are still being active. But unfortunately for Swasa, it has not been renewed for the past six years. So my executives and I, with the help of, with, with the help of our patron, funded to renew the association for the past years to date. We were able to organize a free educational trip for our members to the Kantaka companies, which was very educative and success. As part of our plans, we the executive decided to set a day aside for members of the association to rep their Swasa, Swasa Lacoste, which was every Wednesday, hashtag WWSA. Members who rep their Lacoste were given shots of pictures which were uploaded on the association's social media platforms. The Swasa Club, which was initially known as the Beatles Club, was empowered and vitalized for a firm stand. Not only was it debaters, but poetry, spoken word, and, and drama were included in the Swasa Club. We, are, we were also able to amend the association's con constitution at 7A, pertaining to the portfolio of presidency and vice. With the help of Dr. Brimpong, a forum and presentation on SPSS data analysis and how to secure a scholarship abroad was held for members and it was free and we believe it was very helpful and beneficial to our members. We decided to leave the association with a website but due to some obstacles we started but couldn't finish. So I charge the incoming executives to finish up the good job started. Mr. Chair, to every association, to every journey, there are benefits of these achievements in the past year were amidst some challenges such as payment of dues. Members, especially continued students, hardly paid their dues, which slowed down some activities planned due to financial crisis. In addition to the payment of dues, there was a misinformation carried by the level 100 in 2020 that Faculty says they shouldn't pay dues. So it is a humble plea that this situation will be reviewed in order to help the incoming executives to plan their activities, whether to rely on dues collection or stop taking dues and seek for sponsorships. All the same, we have come to the end of the road, but the good work must continue. We, hum we humbly apologize to staff of the department and to our patron if in any way or the other we offended or couldn't carry out a tax assigned us. To my outgoing executives, I sincerely apologize to each one of you that I'm only human. Mistakes are bound to us, and we all have different views concerning issues. I say I am deeply sorry if I ever offended or stepped on the toes of anyone, or may have said something or did something that was not right to you. The department administration and management, we appreciate your commitment to the cause of our duty and your love. To our past HOD, we say Nagodi. We thank you for your help throughout. To the administrators, we appreciate your support and guidance given us through our time. To Mr. Francis Anoche. We are really grateful for your commitment, time and support, advice and guidance for always showing up for us whenever we call on you. To all the lecturers, we say thank you. To all the TAs, we thank you all for choosing. We thank you all for my outgoing executives 
I thank you for choosing to work with me and supporting the agenda till now. To my able team of outgoing executives, congratulations for the good work done. Posterity will definitely bring us our due course. I know the good Lord will grant you love, mercy, favor, and will replenish any strength lost during our tenure in office. To the incoming executives, the good Lord be your help, provider, guider, the comforter, and may his favor bring you success and goodwill. Paul once said, I have fought, I have fought a good fight, I have finished the race, and I have kept my faith. Long live UCC, long live the department, long live Swasa, long live us all. Thank you. We also received a report from the outgoing debate club president, who is in the person of Ms. Dokas Noe. Dear Chair, all protocol is duly observed. It gives me pleasure to be standing in front of you all on this great day as I am exerting my portfolio as the Swasa Debaters Club for the past one year. Thank you all and I congratulate all of you, especially the incoming executive. I also want to thank the outgoing executives, Swasa executives, and our lecturers for supporting us anytime we call upon them. As part of the aims of the club, we wanted to sell the club to everybody in the department and those outside the department. Because we realized that when we took over from our outgoing executive, there was nobody in the club. The club was left with only the incoming executive. And so we wanted everybody in the department to get to know about the club. So we decided to do this through organizing interlevel debate and then interdepartmental debate. We also had the aim of partaking in the inter-school debate, which is mostly between tech, leg, and then UCC. But because of COVID, we we're not able to achieve that. But we'd like to talk about some of our success. With what we aim at doing, we are able to achieve or had a lot of members, as up to 30 active members. And then we had people who were not active, but we can now boast of about 30 active members. And then with our interlevel and then interdepartmental debate, we're able to achieve all those things. And I would say I was not able to do this with, without the help of my executives. So with this, I would like to say that, especially to the incoming executive, that the journey is not smooth. With this good work that we've started, we are hoping to achieve the rest later in the future. And so with the incoming executives, all that I want to say is that please, the journey is not smooth as you think it will be. But then with the help of God, you will be able to achieve it. Thank you all. So at this juncture, I think uh, I will ask the outgoing executive to exchange powers with the expected income. If I say I, then you pronounce your names. Mm -hmm. You only get the uh, space of the position. You put your the title of position there, and you say after me. All right? By reason your own. Right hand. All right hand. Okay. So we start. I. 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 Okay. Having been elected. To the position of president, hereby solemnly swear, hereby solemnly swear that I will faithfully discharge the best of my ability. That I will faithfully discharge the best of my ability. The duties of my present position. The duties of my present position. And defend the constitution of Swasa. And defend the constitution of Swasa at all times. At all times. And I impose this obligation upon myself. And I impose this obligation upon myself. Voluntarily. Voluntarily. So help me God. So help me God. Right. 
Good afternoon to you all. Good afternoon to you all. Acceptance speech by Master Imano Bisa Akago, the elected president of Sociology and Anthropology Students Association, Swasa UCC. Mr. Chair, Dean of Faculty, mm -hmm. lecturers, teaching assistants, outgoing executives, students present, all protocols duly observed. I thank you all for taking time out of your busy schedules to participate in this August occasion. To the former president, Mr. Tibu, and his team, I thank you for your wise leadership and the excellent example you've left behind for us to follow. I, together with my team, will take a cue from the examples left behind and then make use of the available resources in fulfillment of the mission, vision of our noble department and for that matter, Swasa Mrs. It is an undeniable fact that COVID-19 pandemic has affected most of your activities. However, enough have been achieved. We as social scientists, and for that matter, new executives, would derive strategic policies to combat the COVID-19 virus in the course of discharging our duties and the department. To my honorable colleague, Patrick Ousu, I thank you for demonstrating fairness, a gentlemanly conduct, which you have exhibited throughout the electoral process. I wish you well in all your future endeavors. I would also like to take this opportunity to express my deepest gratitude to the hundreds of students who turn up to cast their votes in our favor. I also appreciate very much the students who could not vote for us. I want to once again assure you that the core values of our noble department, its missions and vision, will form the foundation on which we shall execute our policies. I humbly urge you to keep trusting and cooperating with me and the entire team as we take Swasa UC to the next level. Let me reveal that the famous saying, two heads are better than one, has been a great inspiration to me, and hence my desire to always make thorough inquiry into every activity before embarking in it. I am assuring my co-executives elected that it is a presidency of all. We are born together, not only by the association, we are in to serve. The association's core values, missions, the constitution will guide us in the course of discharging our duties. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank our noble patron, Dr. Solomon Sika Bright, for his cordiality all this while, and I am looking forward to working with him better than ever. In conclusion, Mr. Chairman, I pledge to serve the great Swasa of the Department of Sociology and Anthropology at all times in a spirit of fidelity and commitment to the common good of the students. I will also conform to the principles and values of the department. Thank you everyone for supporting us in making this dream a reality. Long live Swasa, long live Faculty of Social Science, long live UCC. Thank you. Having been appointed to the position of Okay. Hereby swear, Hereby swear that I will discharge my duties to the best of my ability.
and defend Swasa Debating Club. And defend Swasa Debating Club. At all times. At all times. Leaders are born. But joining the ABCC Debating Club, I realized that there are some leaders who can be trained. We came to UCC to learn. We came to UCC to learn. And if you want to be trained, we believe that Swasa Debating Club is the only club that can change your life. I stand here as a president not because I am the most qualified person, but because it's, it is a privilege given to me to serve and to take Swasa Debating Club to the next level. And I do believe that when my executives cooperate with me and the Swasa president up to the least person cooperate with me, Swasa Debating Club can also be held across the university. Last two years, when we went to King USD for the competition, it was very nice and we won the trophy. And we believe that when the COVID, we have an issue with COVID these days and then when the problem is solved, and we happen to host the entire university debate, Swasa Debating Club will also defend and win the trophy. That is the promise I'm giving you. I was a secretary for the previous administration, so I know that we have a financial challenge. That is why I want to play with the new administration, the source of president. But if the need be, they should also budget for us. So that at least we are not taking dues from our members. So when they do the budgeting, every semester, we should also budget their budget. I also want to play with them that Sforza the Getting Club, we just started a few years ago. So on their souvenirs, we should also be seen this. This will also promote the association. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Congratulate the outgoing executives for their hard work. I really was, I was happy with the way they were, even in the midst of the COVID, they were able to work hard. Let me add my voice by congratulating the Afghan executives, who uh, unofficially we work together. Yeah. Uh, owning up for a student position usually, uh, we call it owning up, which means that you yourself have assessed yourself and realized that, oh, I can be the president. I can be the secretary, I can be the vice. It also also means that you want to take on additional responsibilities. I hope you are listening. Yes, Which with them supposes that you need to make time for the association. Commitment is 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 is, is key. So not that you yourself have come, gone to print posters, stood for elections, who have voted for you. There is no way to back up or to back down. You have to edge on and live up to expectation. All right? That's why you both said voluntary. You impose this upon yourself. Voluntary. Nobody forced you. Therefore, if you are called upon and you start giving excuses, that is a disappointment to Swasa to come to the waiting club. Okay? All that we want is your corporate, your corporation. Oh, yeah. And uh, if there is any reason why you can't be available for meetings and stuff like that, be respectful to each other. Inform the president. Inform someone who can stand for you. So that at least we run this association successful end. I would like to also uh, thank my, my, my past executives. Uh, they, did, they did their best in the midst of COVID. We were able to pull one or two achievements together. We hope that the incoming ones would continue. Usually, we don't see vice president, we don't, we don't see other, because probably their portfolio is not clearly defined in the constitution. But please, let's all put our hands together and execute it. Okay? Are you following? Yes, sir. And lastly, you see, the association doesn't pay. I mean, there, there, there is no monetary rewards for being a president or vice. So at times, it's, it's a demotivating factor. But you see, don't be thinking about the monetary rewards. Be thinking about the fact that you are building your career. You can put it on your CV. Only after school, you are looking for a job. This could be a leadership experience for you. People on interview panel will ask you, so when you are vice president, what do you do for Swasta? When you were president, I mean, what did you do? 
secretary, or can you name something like you did for your association? That could give you a job one day. That you might want. So please uh, be up to the tax. We are there to support you. The staff are always available, especially uh, Mr. Noche is there. Uh, and Dr. Otansa is here, Albert is there, we have a vice patron, Dr. Fiaber is also available. And then the HOD so is also always available. So long as you follow the procedure, as you said, go through the right procedure. Okay? And then timing, as you said, please, when you have a program, plan ahead. Discuss first, and then you plan your program so that at least everything goes on successfully. Thank you for waiting up for the positions. I'm happy to see new executives. Okay? And I wish you all the best.